full full rundown. Sure. Out. So, uh, starting up front, we've got our axial cartridges in the front, uh, basically derived off of the, uh, the same success that we had used and had with the, the axial cartridges for our FL series that we came out with about four years ago. Uh, of course, preload adjustable for rider weight. Um, that's first and foremost because that allows you to really tailor the front suspension for your individual customer rather than being a one-size-fits-all. Uh, along with that, one of the biggest things that we uh, advertise as a key feature and benefit in the front end is the uh, reduced brake dive as well. What that allows you to do is give you the, the confidence under hard braking or that panic stop situation to actually maneuver the front or maneuver the motorcycle while you're on the brake without the fear of it toughening the front wheel. So, um, on this particular model, of course, with the inverted front end, uh, we you know, had to make some adjustments uh, in order for those to fit that. But we also have uh, inverted front end cartridge kits for all the new soft tails as well as 49 millimeter front ends for the uh, the uh, conventional Ford model uh, soft tails as well. So, uh, along with that, one of the things you'll notice we put the Alpha Taz and motors up front and that's really to showcase that front end as far as how it reacts under extreme weight. Hot stick, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, motor wise, uh, actually, I'll, I'll go to the, the windshield here. This is actually the new Memphis Shades Road Warrior. Uh, they just came out with here about a month ago. Uh, they're a, a new partner of ours on the, uh, the tour. Super nice fairing uh, in, in regards to you know, a typical Memphis Shades fashion. The, uh, the quick detach feature uh, has all of them. The nice thing is it's still utilizing the stock headlights. Take the bearing off, it doesn't look like something fell off your motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, there's seven different uh, heights of windshield available for that, uh, that bearing. So, depending on rider height and size, and maybe the desired look, uh, so there's plenty of options there. Motor wise, it's a 114, essentially with a, a uh, aftermarket version of a stage two kit. It has, uh, of course, the KN intake on it. Uh, Fasani Road Rage 3, and Fasani being one of our partners on the tour is gracious enough to, to give us one of their exhausts. Uh, internally, stock crank, stock rods, stock pistons, cylinders, cylinder heads. Uh, like I say, the biggest thing that we've added has been the uh, Reaper 465 cam chest kit oh. for fueling. Uh, so it has Fueling's Reaper 465 cam, their cam plate, their race series oil pump, along with their lifters and push rods. Yeah, nice. Um, dyno, dyno tuner, the TTS tuner, uh, dynoed it right at 114 horse and 120 foot pounds of torque. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then working our way to the rear of the machine here, this is our new Air A mono rear suspension on the back of this. And oh, so nice. got the air right on. This is Ooh. an air ride system that fits all of the 2018 soft tail models and all of the 19 soft tail models with the exception of the FXDR. Uh, as you'll see there, that shock replaces the entire hydraulic preload adjustable stock unit. The uh, kit comes with our handlebar mounted control, the wire harness, the onboard compressor, and then as well as the shock and, and all the mounting hardware needed to complete the install with it and, and have a fully functional kit. Two of the things that, of course, we always uh, are focused on, first and foremost, is in improved ride comfort. One of the things, first and foremost, is any rider that's under 250 pounds on any of the newer soft tails and, and even on the new baggers, as a matter of fact, uh, are going to definitely, definitely gain from a system like this because that stock rear suspension is really oversprung for lighter riders. And so we know we can increase the comfort level for any of those riders on any of the new soft tails as well as baggers. But this one focusing more on the soft tail. Um, along with that, uh, hopefully expanding your guys' riding market or you know your, your customer base for that customer that is interested in a new soft tail but maybe doesn't fit it well. And so this system here 
will allow you to actually lower the bike for a customer that needs that confidence in a parking lot or stoplight to stoplight. But then when they get out on the road and they don't need to sacrifice any ride quality due to a shorter suspension, they can air it back up and put them back in the full range of motion so they can have their cake and eat it. Yeah. What's the uh, height range in terms so, of plus and minus? So basically at the seat, you're gonna see about three inches of drop from fully, fully raised to fully lowered. So nice. Basically, this system right now as it sits is fully aired up. As I release the air, you'll see this thing start to, to sink down. Oh, wow. Wow. And at that point, that is the, the actual compressed length of the factory shock. So it's not outside of any of the factory geometries. Uh, the other thing that that does and provides is it allows you to, to ride at that point. Yeah, although it's still it's, got a lot of travel on that yeah, for it, how low it is. It's on the bump stop there. Yep. So it, it's going to ride as a rigid, you know, but you still have plenty of tire to fender clearance. So you're not going to rub the tire on the bottom side of the fender. You're not going to turn any wires out from underneath it. So for that customer that needs that confidence, either back in the bike into a parking spot or like I say, stoplight to stoplight, um, it, it's a, a better, very valuable piece for them because it allows them to ride that motorcycle that they want that maybe they didn't fit before. And then like I said, when they get out and they're going to get on the turnpike and ride for a couple hours, they can take and push the top button on the, the controller, carry the system back up, get it back up into the full range of motion, and, and have you know a full range of suspension travel. Now I'm looking at an knob there on the air suspension. Is there a dampening option on that? There is. Well? Actually, there's a rebound adjustment there. Nice. So for your rider that's uh, maybe a little more comfort oriented, uh, riding a, a deluxe or a heritage or something like that that just wants to cruise down the road. They may tend to ride in a lower number with a little quicker rebound and give that thing a little lighter response. Nice. Whereas your customer riding a fat bob or maybe is a little more of an aggressive rider, they're going to maybe tend to migrate towards that four, five, or six setting, which is going to slow the rebound rate down and give it a more of a performance feel. So, yeah. yeah. Really sharp. Yeah, yeah. Look and forward then, to trying that out. Yeah, it's going to be, you guys will love it. Yeah. And then, uh, does it come with a cover to replace cover that the hand adjusts on there? No, the it does shocks? not. Okay, so, so you just use the Harley replacement one? Yep. Okay. Yep. Exactly. As far as uh, installation time goes um, on the service end of it, I would quote about probably either two and a half to three hours. Probably three hours on the first one just to, you know, familiarize yourselves with it if you do more than one it'll come a lot easier yeah. uh, quite honestly the, the trickiest part of the the install is getting the, the, hyd the stock hydraulic preload adjustable shock out in one piece uh, you know on the heritage it's a lot easier because the preload adjusters on the seat but like on a fat bob where it's down here under that cover mm -hmm. uh, you gotta, gotta kind of snake it all out of there slowly and gently so you don't you know, pull anything loose but it is achievable. Once you get that out, everything else really bolts in nicely. Uh, compressor bolts onto the back of the transmission. In yep. the, uh, the two drilled and tapped holes where the, the California uh, charcoal model uh, is installed there. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. nice thing about that too, if you have the system all the way down, that thing is still tucked up high enough where there's no risk of ever catching it and, and ripping the compressor assembly off because it's up against the back side of the tree. So, yeah. Outstanding. We look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you.